Okay, I am inside of After Effects and I'm gonna create this really fun and quick effect. So I've got my spiderweb text here. You, of course, do not need to have text. I'm just gonna have my spiderwebs kind of connected to my text, which is why it is here. So I'm gonna grab my pen tool. I've got my fill set to none and I've got my stroke set to five and the color is white and I'm just gonna start drawing a web and every time I draw a single line I'm going to click back on here just so that I'm not creating a new shape and I'm just going to start drawing some webs. Um, the reason I'm going so far off the side is that if I want to animate it um, and I'm gonna, if I want to scale it up and down or anything like that blowing in the wind kind of effect I've got room for it to move um, that is obviously going to be dependent on your project and whatever you are creating. Yeah, so just keep going until you're happy um, with this direction. And then once you want to switch directions, I want you to uh, click off and create another shape. Only for the reason that if you were so still selected on this shape, and trying to click onto these you get some annoying effects happening so we're just gonna make a new shape to do that and you can just draw around I think that spider webs tend to just kind of go around in circles um, it doesn't have to be anything other than what you want so this is what I have ended up with. I am just going to select both of my layers, right click and pre-compose and I'm going to name this spiderweb and move all attributes and press OK. Then I'm going to come over to effects and presets and search for the displacement map and drop this onto the layer. But to get this kind of reflective effect I'm just going to come back to the beginning and add a keyframe to max horizontal displacement and max vertical displacement. I'm going to start this at about 50 and move out a little bit and come up to about 100. And now when I play through, I have this interesting reflective light. Now you can of course play around with these numbers to get the effect that you were looking for. The only thing that I would suggest is not to go from, I'll just give you an example. So I've gone up to a hundred here. So I wouldn't go into the minus. Um, I'll just show you. I wouldn't go from minus a hundred up to say a hundred and that's why because somewhere in the middle it's gonna fully show up again so whatever direction you head in just make sure to just stay on that side of it yeah there are a few other things that you could do that I will show you um, for example oh, for example on this one I've actually used a bulge effect and I've just done that to get this kind of animation just got a loop of a uh, loop on there uh, probably not the most realistic thing I honestly spent like 30 seconds on it <laughs> but you know you get the idea I also just for my thumbnail actually just added a couple of glows to this um, it actually does look pretty cool I didn't have them there originally but yeah just in case anyone thinks it looks a little bit different um, in the thumbnail that's why there you have it see what else you can do in After Effects by clicking this video right here see you in the next one bye